Good morning and welcome to my annual iodine challenge test. So let's talk a little bit about iodine. Iodine is an essential nutrient that we need to have to help our beautiful butterfly shape organ here called our thyroid, it's a gland, to help our thyroid to function properly. Our thyroid is the base of our hormone production, our steroid production, our immune system, our hair staying in our head, the quality and texture of our skin, our collagen, everything in our body. And thyroid is not the total thyroid that we're looking for, but it's the T3 and T4. And part of it, why you hear me always talking about the health of our food, the quality of our food, is it's changed up in the liver. So when the thyroid number is going through, it goes through the liver, and I'll talk about it more, but you can find that information out on the internet and everywhere, you can Google it. But it goes through the liver, and that's where it's changed into the uptakeable, utilizable thyroid hormone that can then help the thyroid gland function. So if the liver is sluggish, you could be doing all the good stuff, but it's not changing into that utilizable uh, one. It's kind of like if you try to make bread, but you put the baking soda in too late, it's not gonna rise. So you're gonna end up with a cracker, not a bread. Now, of course, who I love crackers. So, but I'm just saying, so you need the liver to work well to change it so that it can be utilizable. Now, here's my challenge test that I do every year is I, I, I broke my little um, squeegee thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of drops. I'm going to put like seven drops. One, whoop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now I'm going to take this and this is all for you to do too. And I'm gonna rub it in. That's all I need to do is rub it in. And now I'm gonna take a picture of it. So I'm gonna take a picture on my screen and that is uh, at 10 a.m. my time. And I'm gonna keep an eye on this and I'm gonna watch. If my thyroid gland, if I had the perfect amount of iodine, which I know I don't, we're all pretty deficient. So if I had a perfect amount of iodine in me supporting my thyroid gland and keeping my cells and health, body healthy, this would stay basically this color for up to 24 hours before it absorbs in. I'll bet that within a couple of hours, most of this is gonna be absorbed in. That's gonna let me know how deficient I am and what I need to start to do. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take iodine now and, and put it um, on me. I'm gonna put the drops on me every day for the next week and then I'm gonna keep a little bit of a journal with photos and let me see if it's taking longer and longer and longer to absorb in my skin. The longer it takes to absorb in the skin, the better your iodine levels. So my goal is, might be unattainable for me, but my goal will be to have it take up to 20, 24 hours to absorb in. I'm gonna be happy if it goes, takes 15 hours to absorb in, just to raise my levels high enough. This is my annual challenge to you. Now, where can you get iodine in your food? You can get it in kelp, seaweed, as long as you know your sources, that they're super high quality sources. You can get them in shellfish. I don't eat so much shellfish, but it comes in a lot of these things in seafood. And just know your source for your seafood to be healthy. Now, why do we tend to be iodine deficient? Well, a lot of us cook with sea salt. We're not eating iodized salt. I still don't want to eat iodized salt because it's missing all the minerals. Iodized salt is stripped salt where they throw the iodine back in. So I'd rather have my sea salt that has 88 different minerals in it, which then doesn't raise blood pressure, which then doesn't cause other sodium issues and puffy hands and puffy feet. So I'm gonna keep using my sea salt, but I'll add iodine in my diet in 
through food and nutrients with a little bit of help from my iodine drops too. So that's on my plate. That's in my kitchen. What are you going to put in your plate? What are you going to put in your kitchen? And what are you going to put in your health so that your immune system supports you and take care of you? Share this video. It's free. Let everybody feel that they can get better. We all need to support our liver, our organs, our thyroid gland so that we can feel better. And life can be amazing. Have a great day.